Hey, what's up, everybody? I'll come on to you today. Today, we're going to be talking about why windup is actually quite powerful. A lot of people, when they see windup, whenever they're getting, you know, bells are like, ugh, windup. It'll be like sacred field, windup, and yoru. And they're like, ah, windup, man, this shit sucks. But I'm here to tell you that windup isn't as bad as you think. I'm actually here with the numbers. I was testing this in uh, the main server. And um, uh, shout out to this dude, probably me out. Basically, every windup gives you a higher damage multiplier with diminishing returns. So that means, you know, the first windup increase isn't as, you know, as much of an increase as like the fifth one. So here are the numbers. The first windup means your M1 is going to do 50% more damage. Just if you go up to two, 87% more damage, three, 130% uh, more damage, four, 160% more damage, and five, 180% more damage. So that basically means on the fifth one, you're basically almost at three times damage, right? It's actually important to know the difference between the different windup bells. The thing is, is that you may get different numbers as a result of this uh different from my testing but it should still always be close to three times damage for the fifth one and 50 percent more damage for the first one which is you know it's pretty good it can do a lot of damage if you have like for example like a dragoon or maybe like an enforcer's axe or something like a heavy weapon that does a lot of damage even with like regular medium weapons three times is pretty nice because it also like multiplies with multipliers right i mentioned this before in a previous video but it does multiply with things like ishin's ring wyvern's overflowing them any multiplier it multiplies that so um you can see how this can get pretty out of hand pretty quickly even with this regulars enforcers axe it did like 40 percent to me right of course that does a lot of damage like the most in the game but um realistically you're probably going to be doing around 30 percent of somebody's health to 20 percent of somebody's health for like a max wind up um, but if you need to, I would just pop it like every so often since windup has such a short cooldown. And you know, the one time wind is still a 50% damage increase, which is not bad at all. So again, if you guys ever have the chance today, maybe try picking up windup and see how you guys do with it, man. Um, that's all we have to say, guys. I'll be catching you later. You guys have a good one. Peace.